Uh, hello everyone. Welcome to the session four of Network Layer under VTU e Shikshana program. In this session, we will understand what is CIDR notation. Why was CIDR developed? We all know uh, IP address is 32 bit long and there are five classes in IP address. Those are A, B, C, D and E, right? The IP address were originally divided into five classes. If a company wanted to be connected to the internet, it had to choose an IP address from the appropriate class. Because you all know uh, each device has IP address and uh, without IP address, you cannot identify any device in the internet. So if a company wanted to be connected to the internet, it had to choose an IP address from the appropriate class. The system of IP addresses as we are currently using it has been long exhausted. That is IPv4 is 32 bit long. So there are 2 to the power of 32 uh, addresses and uh, CIDR helps extend the amount of available address. IPv4 is divided into 5 classes class A, class B, class C, class D, and class E. And uh, uh, in class A, uh, the range is 0 to 127, and uh, class B is 128 to 191, and the range of class C is 192 to 223, and the range of class D is 224 to 239, the range of class E is 240 to 255. Class D and E is not used. Class D is used for multicasting and uh, class E is reserved for some experiment purpose. Only class A, B, C are used. And in class A, there are uh, network part and the host part. Whereas in uh, if you choose class A, you can have 2 to the power of 8 networks in that 2 to the power of 16, uh, 2 to the power of 20 a four host will be there. And coming to the class B here, uh, 16 bit is chosen for the uh, network ID and 16 bit is chosen for the uh, number of hosts per network. So that is 2 to the power of 16 hosts per network will be there in each uh, network. 2 to the power of 16 hosts per network in class B. Coming to the class C, there are uh, 24 bits reserved for a network ID and 8 bits reserved for host ID. So in each network, 2 to the power of 8 host will be there. Uh, you have to subtract minus 2 because the first address is reserved for a network address and the last address is reserved for a direct broadcast address. So here, CIDR. Uh, will not consider class A, B, C, D, and E. It uh, consider blocks. So the IP addresses were originally divided into five classes. If a company wanted to be connected to the internet, it had to choose an IP address from the appropriate class. For each class, different number of octets were used to identify the network. So the remaining octet determines the number of hosts in a network. Uh, we know IP address has two parts, one is network ID, another one is the host ID. Uh, using network ID, you can identify the network. Using host ID, you can identify device in the network. So uh, why was CIDR developed? To meet the needs of internet users better, it was decided to make the network sizes more flexible. CIDR is used to reduce the size of routing table in internet routers and to slow down the decrease in the number of available IP addresses. See, there are 7 billion users in the uh, earth and uh, there are only 4 billion uh, addresses. Uh, so, in order to uh, compensate uh, the IP address CIDR notation is used. So routing tables are located in the router to find the correct destination address. 
using CIDR, you can reduce the number of entries in the routing table. The size of the uh, routing table is reduced, and uh, you can manage the IP address uh, for all the users in the planet. So, data packets pass through many nodes from origin to destination. If you want to send packets from one network to another network, the data has to pass from uh, one uh, origin to another, uh, that is destination. Since CIDR assembles address into blocks, it is no longer necessary to store so much information in the routing tables. This means that several addresses are combined into one route. For this purpose, CIDR is used. CIDR means Classless Inter-Domain Routing. CIDR stands for Classless Inter-Domain Routing. There is no classes. Because of the class, so many addresses were wasted. To overcome from that, CIDR notation is used. In this notation, the CIDR assembles addresses into blocks. And CID, how does CIDR work? See, CIDR is based on the idea of subnet mask, right? Now every class has its own subnet mask. A default subnet mask will be there. So a mask is placed over an IP address and creates a subnetwork, right? The subnet mask signals to the router which part of IP address is assigned to the host and which determines the uh, network. See, you all know IP address has two parts. One is the network part, another one is the host part. Some bit is reserved for a network and some bit is reserved for host. Right. CIDR also makes it possible to create supernets in addition to subnets. This means that it is not only possible to subdivide a network more precisely, but also to combine several networks. Using CIDR notation, you, you can divide the network into subnet and also you can combine several subnets into single large uh, networks that is called as supernets. Okay. If the network is too large, it is difficult for the network administrator to manage. So the network is divided into different subnets. Uh, and uh, between subnets, a router will be there, and between network, a router will be there. If you want to send packets from one network to another network, the data has to pass from uh, one router to another router based on that half count is also calculated. Supernets are important. For example, if a company has several locations, if a company has uh, uh, several uh, locations but wants to deal with all computers in the same network supernet allows several networks to combine into one route which is why this technology is also called root aggregation root aggregation that is grouping of the routes this means that data packets are only sent to one destination regardless of where the hosts are located Coming to the CIDR notation, the modern standard form of specification of the network prefix is CIDR notation, used for both IPv4 and IPv6. It counts the number of bits in the prefix and appends that number to the address after slash. Right. This notation was introduced with classless interdomain routing. This is what CIDR stands for classless interdomain routing. For example, the IPv4 network 192.0.2.0 uh, with the subnet mask 255.255.255.0. The, see, this is the class C address, class C, because the, mm, from 0 to 127, the range, you have to check this uh, first octet. 0 to 127 is class A. 128 to 191 is class B. 192, if the address starts from 192, then it is class C. 192 to 223 is class C. So, uh, the subnet mask of class C is 255.255.255.0. This uh, portion is network ID and this portion is host ID. 
So there are two to the power of 24 network, and in each network, two to the power of 16 hosts will be there. You have to uh, subtract minus two. That is two to the power of 16 minus two because the first address uh, is uh, reserved for network address, and the last address is reserved for direct broadcast address. And uh, return has 192.0.2.0/24 uh, uh, because you have to count this. Uh, uh, one uh, that is the 255.255.255. The binary representation of 255 1 1 1 8 1 1 come 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8. See, this is the binary representation of 255. So, how many ones are there? 8 16 24. So, slash 24. So, the IPv4 network 192.0.2. Uh, 2.0 with the subnet mask. This is the this is the default subnet mask of class C is written as 192.0.0 uh, sorry 192.0.2.0 slash 24. Uh, this is what the CIDR notation. See, uh, it counts the number of bits in the prefix. In the number of bits is 24. Uh, that uh, number to be address after a slash it counts the number of bits in the prefix and appends that number to the address after a slash see this is what the actual address after that you put slash and uh, mention the number of uh, ones are present at the network id uh, that is slash 24 because uh, 8 16 24 uh, this is how we have to represent cidr notation see to calculate the network ID of a subnet, how to calculate the IP address? We have to perform binary AND between IP address and the subnet mask. To calculate the network ID of a subnet, how to calculate the uh, address of the subnet, network ID of a subnet, take an IP address with the subnet and run the AND operator. You can perform binary AND between IP address and the subnet mask to get the subnet ID. To get the subnet ID, you have to perform the binary AND between IP address and the subnet mask. You, even in calculator also, you can perform this operation. So, to calculate the network ID of a subnet, take an IP address within the subnet and run the AND operator in calculator on the subnet mask. So, using a calculator to find the network ID is the easy way as you do not have to convert it into binary form. Once the network ID is found, calculating the broadcast address is very easy. Uh, 111 is the broadcast address. If all bit is set to 1, then it becomes broadcast address. So, the first address is reserved for network ID and the last address is reserved for broadcast purpose therefore you have to subtract minus two uh, these two address are not available so to calculate the network id of a subnet take an ip address within the subnet and run the and operator on the subnet mask and run, run the and operator on the subnet mask easy way is take ip address from the subnet and perform binary AND between IP address and the subnet mask. If uh, the address is uh, from uh, class C, then uh, default subnet mask you can consider. If you choose one bit from the host ID part, then uh, two subnets can be formed. That is 2 to the power of uh, 1 is 2. If you choose two bits from the host part, then 2 to the power of 2 is 4 subnets you can pass. I went should. Next, how to find the subnet ID? You have to perform binary AND between IP address and the subnet mask. You will get the subnet ID. Okay. You have to consider some bits from the host part. Okay. If you consider one bit, then two subnets. If you consider two bits, then four subnets. It is 2 to the power of 2, 4. Next, what is subnet mask? A subnet mask is a 32-bit number created by setting host bit to all zeros and uh, setting network bits to all ones. 
as i said see how to set a subnet mask what is subnet mask subnet mask uh, means in order to find the subnet id subnet mask is required uh, and uh, you have to perform binary and between subnet mask and ip address to get the subnet id so a subnet mask is a 32 bit long created by setting host bits to all zeros and setting network bits to all ones in this way the subnet mask separates the ip address into the network and host address you all know uh, ip address contains a network id and the host id right uh, so if you want to reach the target uh, server first you have to identify the uh, ip address using the ip address you can reach the uh, network and also you can reach the uh, target host and if you want to reach the application for that port number is required so the 255 address is always assigned to a broadcast address if all bits are one then it is a broadcast address if the bit is zero then it is the network address and the zero address is always assigned to a network address okay and neither can be assigned to host as they are reserved for these special purposes that, that's why you have to subtract uh, uh, with number minus two uh, because uh, if there are uh, eight bits reserved for the uh, host then two to the power of eight host will be there in each network uh, but you will get only two to the power of eight minus two because the first address is default address and the last address is a broadcast address so the 255 address is always assigned to a broadcast address and the zero address is always assigned to a network address. These two address you cannot uh, use uh, for the system. Class A, IP address classes and subnet marks. Class A, B and C networks have neutral marks or default marks. See, class A mask, uh, default default mask of class A is 255.0.0.0 that is uh, 8 bits is reserved for networks and 24 bits are reserved for host and class B here uh, 255.0.0 this is the default subnet mask of class B uh, why the subnet mask is required subnet mask is required to find the subnet ID you have to perform the binary and between uh, IP address and the subnet mask and the class C the class C subnet mask the default subnet mask of class C is 255.255.255.0 this is the uh, default uh, subnet mask of class C if you want to divide uh, uh, into different subnets then you have to consider uh, the bits present in the host uh, part if you consider one bit then two to the power of one uh, is Two, two subnets will be there. If you consider two bits, then you two to the power of two is equal to uh, four subnets, right? If you consider one bit, then you have to make one uh, that uh, uh, bit. If you consider two bits, uh, two one, and remaining all zero, right? Right, like this. And uh, see, an example of class A IP address and subnet mask would be the uh, class A default subnet mask. See. Class A default subnet mask is 255.0.0.0 and an IP address is 10.20.12.2 because it is the first object you should consider. If it comes within the range 0 to 127, then the address belongs to class A. See, the uh, example of class A IP address and subnet mask of uh, class A is 255 and an IP address is this one. See, this is what the IP address. An example of class A IP address and the subnet mask would be the class A default subnet mask and an IP address. Uh, just by considering this first object, you have to detect this IP address belongs to each class. Uh, based on the range, you have to identify 0 to 127. Uh, uh, the starting address is in between 0 to 127, then that belongs to class A address. If it belongs to uh, 128 to 191, then if uh, the address comes in the range 128 to 191, then it is class B. 192 to 223, if the address 
is in between the range 192 to 223, then it is class C. And these are the default subnet mask of A, B, and C. See, how to identify which class the IP address belongs to? Uh, see, it is very simple. So here, see, example uh, of IP address 11000001. This IP address belongs to uh, class C because here first and the second bit are 1 and the third bit is 0 and C is class C. Uh, easily see if the starting bit is 0 then it is uh, 0 to 127 means uh, class A 0 next uh, see if the starting bit is 0 then class A if the starting bit is 1 0 then class B if the starting bit is 110 see 110 then class C if the starting bit is 1110 then it is class uh, D if the starting four bit is one 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 one, then it is class E. You see the diagram; it is very easy to identify uh, the uh, IP address belongs to which class. If the starting bit is zero, if the starting bit is zero, then it is class A. If the starting two bit, uh, you have to consider if uh, the starting bit is one and the next bit is zero, then it is class C. If the starting bit is one. If the first bit is 1, second bit is 1, third bit is 0. Third bit is 0, then class C. If the first bit is 0, then class A. If the first bit is 0 and the second bit, if the first bit is 1 and the second bit is 0, then class B. If the first bit is 1, second bit is 1, third bit is 1, followed by 0, then class C. If the first bit is 1, second bit is 1, third bit is 1, and the fourth bit is zero then it is class d if uh, first one two three four bit is one then it is class e i will show uh, like this you have to identify uh, if the ip address is in a binary format then you should consider the first octet afterwards you should uh, identify that address belongs to which class this diagram helps you to recognize the IP address uh, very easily. And that IP address belongs to which class? If the first bit is 0, then class A. If uh, first bit is 1, second bit is 0, then class B. If the first bit is 1, second bit is 1, third bit is 0, then class C. If the first bit is 1, second bit is 1, third bit is 1, and the fourth bit is 0, then class D. It is used for multicast. The first bit is one, second bit is one, third bit is one, fourth bit is also one, then class E. Okay. Thanks.